Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good. Uh, today I've decided to take you through my garden so that I can show you what I've planted and uh, by the end I think you are going to learn. So let us go. So starting from here, this container, these are the beetroots. As you can see they are doing good. This is where I planted them as seedlings. Then uh, I transplanted the others. Then I remained with these ones. So I've done what we call mulching. Mulching is very important to your vegetables. To conserve water within your container. So you are not going to use a lot of water during irrigation. Then coming to this sack. This is a courgette, as you can see, it is growing well. Then the other side here, I transplanted one beetroot and also it is doing good. To the other sack, you can see how these uh, beetroots are doing good. They are so fresh, very okay. I've uh, done mulching also and I've uh, explained to you the, the benefit of mulching. This side you can see I have the seedlings. These seedlings is for cauliflower. So if you want some, just contact me, you'll get. So the grass the other side, I put them here to dry so that I can use uh, them for mulching. This, in this container, I have a egg plant. I just planted them direct and so far so good. They have grown 100%. But here, I have pilpilho, that is caps capsicum, the green one. I'm trying to see whether they can do good together with the eggplant. So this side, these are the cauliflower that I've uh, transplanted so far. And I've, mul I've done mulching. Then I think they are, doing, they are doing great so far. This is uh, the cauliflower also to the other side. So, so far so good. Things are going well the other sack here you can see this is the amaranthus i just planted them direct here but very soon i'm going to transplant them so these are the seedlings i'm going to thin then i leave the best one like this you can see it is huge very healthy I leave the best one in the sack. So, so far so good. Things are doing good. They are, they are okay. This is um, the part of my garden. Uh, using sacks and uh, some containers. And uh, the vegetables are available. Then from here, I take you to this side, you can see I've used uh, small containers to plant spinach and also lettuce. So you can see the way the lettuce is doing here. They are growing very soon. I'm going to harvest. The spinach also using the empty oil containers and the omo containers and they are doing great they are giving me good uh, vegetables around all the way up to this first uh, sack again this is the kels so far so good they are also doing good here this is a cauliflower I transplanted also and uh, they are doing great. 
I did mulching and uh, this kind of uh, preservation of water is helping me a lot. To the next sack, this is the lettuce. Uh, I transplanted these seedlings recently and so far so good, they are doing good. This is lettuce also and also as you can see they are great. If you remember very well this sack is the one that I showed you how to weed your sacks and containers. So far so good. My lettuce they are producing very big leaves and very soon you're gonna see how, how I'm enjoying the fresh leaves in my kitchen. So the reason why I'm taking you all through this is to encourage you to start yours. Even if it is one circle, two circle, one container, all three containers, from there you'll gain experience and uh, you'll never buy vegetables from the market. The vegetables that you don't know whether they are healthy or they are okay. So I'm encouraging you to start your own garden on the balcony, your veranda, or your compound and uh, you'll enjoy. So from there you come to this uh, container. This is, uh, this is a capsicum the green one and so far so good you can see the way it is doing good the seedlings are growing bigger and bigger each day and they are healthy even to the sides you can see i planted them they are growing okay so i'm happy for that to this side for those who need the seedlings of lettuce, I have a lot. You can see these two sacks. They have a lot of lettuce seedlings. And uh, very soon they are ready for transplanting. So you can see the way they are doing great. And to the other sack, this is the kels. Then this one, this is the lettuce also. Uh, this sack, this is the kels also. So, so far so good. You can see how the vegetables are growing. They are flourishing each and every time. So the reason why I'm taking you through this again is to encourage you. I'm encouraging somebody out there who is watching this to start his or her own garden within your compound or within your yes within your area so that you can uh, get enough vegetables in your kitchen from there let me take you to the final stage as you can see here this is the spinach, four dog spinach, giant spinach. It is great. It has grown bigger and bigger each and every day. So this is the work that I do and uh, I'm always encouraging you. And if you remember very well, uh, this spinach, I transplanted it recently about two months ago so far so good i have a lot of vegetables around you can see the way they have grown bigger the spinach is very big big leaves fresh clean very clean you can see you may think that i wash them but not i don't do that then this is the amarantas also. 
I'm going to enjoy very fresh vegetables from this small container as you can see you can move with it then so uh, I encourage everyone out there to start your own uh, vegetable garden using only containers and uh, sacks and you are going to enjoy your vegetables so thank you very much keep following me and I share to your friends all these videos so that they can learn also thank you very much and be blessed